Did MoviePass try to stop people from seeing Avengers Infinity War? Hey everyone, this is Kevin T. Rodriguez, film critic of iCritic.net and shareholder of Helios and Matheson. And yeah, we're going to be talking about MoviePass again today. I was going to talk about the comic book industry, uh, but this I found to be pretty fascinating and I figured you'd all want to hear it. So there's a story from HitFix. And it says, MoviePass reportedly tried to stop some of its subscribers from seeing Avengers Infinity War. Now, this article is going to probably enrage a lot of people. It certainly annoyed me a little bit. However, also highlighted for me personally, um, the need for what I would call the Marvel rule. And for those of you who have not heard what I've, what the Marvel rule is for me from me before, uh, I will explain to you what it is in a moment. First of all, let's go over this article. It's not very long. Movie Pass is technically still alive, though barely. Back in July, the troubled subscription movie-going service abruptly went a hiatus, promising many users left that they were temporarily pulling the plug to address technical issues. They're still Maya, though they now claim 40% of their users are back on. Full disclosure, I am one of the users that are still back on. I can use my MoviePass card if I want. Uh, KD is not, though, so, you know, fat lot of good that does me. But in the meantime, on Tuesday, Business Insider released an epic report detailing the rise and fall with the deal that sounded too good to last for long because it was. And I will say about Business Insider, even though I think their writing is good. Business Insider did have a particular um, beef with MoviePass. I'm not sure what it was, but they were definitely gunning for the company to fail and write in as much hit pieces as they could. Uh, granted, they ended up being right, of course, but that's besides the point. They, they've had it in for MoviePass since day one. There are many horror stories from how its tireless founder, Stacy Spikes, was ousted right after the company signed its millionth subscriber to how their vendor couldn't print enough cards to meet with a fresh flush of new users to the honcho's loathing of power users, the ones who used it as much as they could. And granted, I have some issues with the power users as well, people who just clearly blatantly abused the service. Heck, I shared a screenshot um, of one guy who saw the Bruce Willis movie Death Wish every single day. And I'm sorry, that is clearly abusing. That is not what it was intended for. And, you know, people like them are why we probably didn't have a little bit longer. Of course, MoviePass also had a bad business model, let's be fair. Um, one of the better stories came during the first stage in which, in what would prove MoviePass's downfall, namely this. They were killed by the Avengers. Their Waterloo was the opening weekend of Avengers Infinity War in late April of 2018. According to Business Insider, MoviePass CEO Mitch Lowe tried to limit subscriber access to the biggest movie of the summer. If I were in his shoes, I probably would try to do that too. Not saying it's right, just saying I probably would try. They said Lowe ordered that the passwords of a small percentage of power users be changed, preventing them from logging onto the app and ordering tickets to report claims. They also released a new version of the MoviePass app designed to help prevent violations of its terms of use. And here's what they said. It reduced the number of people who were sharing their membership card with multiple people. It reduced the number of people who were buying and scalping tickets to the high demand movies. And it reduced the number of people who were buying tickets each day to various movies, then exchanging them for a single movie ticket and bringing three or four people to the same movie. Um, the spokesperson said, MoviePass purchased many millions of dollars of tickets for Avengers as we did for other hit titles. I believe it. But it didn't work. By the end of July, halfway through the summer movie season, the company was losing at least $40 million a month. Not good. Uh, by July 26th, the weekend of Mission Impossible Fallout, the company ran out of money needed to fill MoviePass cards. MoviePass, along with the sister company Helios and Matheson, had to borrow $5 million to get it back online. They wound up in famously removing the mi fifth Mission Impossible from its service entirely on top of freezing the accounts of half of its subscribers. Kind of like Thanos in Famous Snap from the movie that first sounded their death knell. The decision was not well received by MoviePass subscribers, nor by the U.S. Department of Justice, a council expert at which described Lowe's actions as certainly unethical and could be illegal. MoviePass was never the same. Since then, it moved from making everything available, unlimited, and one ticket a day to only a handful of titles available each day, only three a month. There were endless complaints, dodgy company behavior, uh, desperate attempts at restructuring, even claims of fraud, and now they're on hold working on those aforementioned technical issues. And to think they would have gotten away with their impossible plan had it not been for those meddling Avengers. Well, here's the thing. If it wasn't for the Avengers, it would have been something else. Maybe it would have been the Lion King or something. But here's the thing. I, uh, it wouldn't surprise me, personally, 
that they would try to avoid buying Avengers movie tickets because they bought so many movie tickets. I think, here's the thing, Movie Pass made some very, very, very big mistakes. They should not have had a movie a day from the beginning. Maybe they should have done what, like, AMC did. Hey, you can have, like, three a week. Something like that. Um, they should have, like, limited... It, they should not have let you see the same movie over and over and over again. They, they should have had a throttling option where, like, hey, if you see, like, more than seven movies a month, you might be considered abusing the service. Therefore, we can throttle you if we want. They should have done something where it's like, oh, this account is going from phone to phone to phone to phone. Well, maybe that account's being shared. We should do something to prevent that. So, MoviePass made some mistakes. That said, I will say this. Marvel movies sure take the fun out of subscription services, don't they? I mean, I actually believe that there should be the Marvel rule, which I mentioned before, and now I'm going to elaborate further for those of you who don't know what I believe this is. Because, in my opinion, the Marvel rule should be something like, as a rule of thumb, a Marvel movie or a marvel size hit should have severe restrictions on whether or not a subscription should provide it, cover it. Because the Marvel movies are kind of almost the number one reason that the subscription services stop working. After Black Panther, and people saw Black Panther multiple times, we lost the repeat movie, op movie option. After Avengers Infinity War, um, hey, they ran out of money. After uh, Avengers Endgame, Cinemia goes under. And just before Spider-Man Far From Home opens, or at least on the same weekend, I forgot exactly which, movie pass decides are going to shut down for a little while to avoid for technical reasons, even though I don't think they just want to buy Spider-Man and uh, and Lion King tickets. And it, it kind of struck me as strange that they didn't have a plan for this in motion in the first place. Because, you know, there have been movie passes from theaters around, like Cinemark, Regal, AMZ. You know, you go to Costco or something, you can buy these discount ticket vouchers, where, like, instead of the ticket being $14, it was $9. I remember when I was a kid, it was like four as opposed to eight, but whatever. And they would have limitations on it. Now, you could get like a premium ticket and you would still be saving a couple dollars, but that would be unlimited. So I'm kind of surprised MoviePass and really AMC and Regal, I, I suspect this will come at some point, don't have little provisions in place for certain movies. Like, hey, I think a good rule of thumb with a Marvel movie First two, if it's a major, major blockbuster, first two weeks, can't see it at all. Can't see it at all. Ha have to wait. After the third week, then you can see it, but you got to pay a surcharge for it. And then after the third week, then you can see it. And this wouldn't be for all movies, obviously, but for the movies that clearly everyone is going to go see, no matter what, put a restriction on that one. Just, just do it. That would have... That would save you millions and millions of dollars. Maybe not. Now, granted, a lot of those millions of people would probably use it on the third week anyway. And, hey, maybe Disney and Warner Brothers would like it because it keeps the movie in the top ten three, four weeks later. However, Marvel movies just tend to, they tend, they tend to run havoc and ruin the subscription services because so many people go to see them that these studios can't, these companies can't keep up. Now, I hear that it, it's a little different for AMC and Regal. You know, they, they can cost control the tickets a little bit more, like just pay like the flat surge. And of course, Regal has it where you pay like a discounted um, ticket fee um, for the Regal Unlimited. So if a bunch of people are using Regal Unlimited to buy advanced tickets for uh, the next Doctor Strange, for example then that's going to be a lot of 50 cents that um, Regal is going to get to keep. So there's already things that's going on that they're not going to get hurt as much. But I was always amazed, like, why didn't they have this rule in place sooner? It was just ridiculous that, you know, when Black Panther opened, you could see that movie again and again and again. Black Panther, I hear, cost movie past some $80 million in ticket sales. It's like, that. that's just, that's not sustainable. And it's not right, actually. And honestly, <laughs> why do people need to be seeing Black Panther that many times? Good movie. Very good movie. But they don't need to see it that many times. So anyway, that's where we're going to leave this topic. What do you think? Do you think a Marvel rule should have been applied at MoviePass if they came back? Would you oppose such a rule where for certain movies you have to wait a couple weeks if it'll save the company money? 
Um, I, I know a lot of you are pretty much done with Movie Pass, and yet you still watch my movies, you still comment, so you must still be interested in the Movie Pass story, such as it is. So anyway, I'd love to know. Comment below, like, favorite, share, subscribe. If you enjoy my videos, consider becoming a Patreon member. It's totally optional, of course, but even as little as one dollar a month goes a long way to helping the channel run smoothly, and you get access to my Patreon's exclusive blog. And as always, blame responsibly. Have a good one.